Hi, my name is Jacqueline and I'm going to present to you my master thesis project, Tactile Polymer Surfaces, which is done under cooperation with the Nanoplast project. Polymers is something we meet every day in our lives. An average European user consumes about 100 kilograms of plastic each year. And plastic, as we know, is a, is a petrochemical, which means it derives from petrol originally, which means that it's actually a fossil fuel um, and is a scarce resource. So we want to use less plastic if possible, and we want to reuse it. So why do we even, why do we even need plastic? Could we just not use something else and then avoid this, uh, this waste of resources? And actually, the answer is quite straightforward. The reason why we use more and more plastic today is because we need it. It's good for the environment. This might seem like a paradox, but if we look at a car, which in the past would have been produced mostly in metals, and today we can produce so many parts in plastic, this means that the car will, will be so much lighter and that means that the energy it takes to transport the car will be so much less. So it is needed in that way. Also, there is this whole efficiency of the resources, where if we take, for instance, food, where most foods are packaged in plastic, if we didn't do this, the food wouldn't uh, be fresh for as long and we wouldn't be able to transport it across the globe. That means that to be able to get food to where we really need it, we need this plastic coating of the surfaces. So, if we look at polymers today, there are different kind of uh, things that will be needed in the coming years. First of all, if we look at a pen like this, there is this um, normal case and then to be able to, uh, to hold on to it and for it to feel nice when you grab onto it, there's this other plastic you use here to get this grip. It could also be uh, a plastic toy horse where you want to have a different impression of the tail so the child can feel that it's more realistic to what it should be. The problem with these kind of plastics where you have uh, different materials that provides different tactile properties is that first of all they cannot be directly reused and recycled. That means that once you're done playing with the horse or it breaks down or anything, you cannot put it in an oven and recycle it because what you would get out would be undefined since you're using different plastic materials. Also, <clears throat> since it's made from different materials, the horse would need to be assembled somewhere. So that means that we ha will have to use energy in this process. Also, uh, and m maybe most importantly, uh, we have these problems with special chemicals that we use to make the surfaces soft. And we know that these chemicals are not good for our body. So we want to try and avoid these, these things with plastics. So my master project is about making a tactile surface of, on a plastic and making it in such a way that we can avoid these things. This is one of my surfaces and as you can see there are all these protrusions. It seems rather big here but if we take a normal matchstick and look at the cross section actually there would be around half a million of these structures on just the cross section. So it's not something we can see with the naked eye but it is something that we can feel. So for instance we can have a surface where some part of the surface feels wet and some part of the surface feels soft and maybe a, a whole nother part feels rough and then in this way we can achieve these things that we usually do with more plastic materials. But if we mold it in one plastic material in this way we both achieve this easy recy recycling um, where we can just once we're done with the brick or the horse put it in an oven, remelt it. Also we don't need to assemble it because it's already assembled directly from the mold. And maybe most importantly, we don't need to use these chemicals that we know are bad for our body because the structures are inherent. So it's not something that we need to put on the surface. Also, this is a way to look at plastic in the future and try to solve some of the green challenges we know will arise. 